In this lesson, we're going to learn how to read a ruler. Basically, when you read a ruler, you're dealing with fractions. So let's begin by asking ourselves, what is a fraction? Many times when I ask students this question, they give me answers such as, it's a half or it's a quarter. Those are examples of fractions. It's not the definition of a fraction. The correct answer is that a fraction is a part of a whole. Anytime you take any whole unit and you divide it into equal sections, you're dividing it into fractions, part of that whole. Inches are a good example of that. Let's take this entire inch and let's divide it into two equal sections. You see I have on this side the red, one half of the inch, and on the other side I have the other half of the inch. Notice how that the half inch is divided by this longest line on the ruler. So whenever you see this long line, that indicates the half inch marks. Let's break the inch down even further and divide it into quarters. You see now how we have divided this inch into four equal sections. This first line would indicate the one-fourth inch mark. The second line would indicate the two-fourth inch mark. And in case you don't remember, it was also the half inch mark. This line here would indicate the three quarter inch mark. So you see we've got one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. And if we have all four quarters, we have the entire inch. So four quarters equals a whole. We can break it down even further into eighth inch sec sections. Notice now we have eight equal sections. And again, we've got one eighth of an inch, two eighths, which is also a quarter, three eighths, four eighths, which is also two quarters or a half, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths, and if we have eight eighths, we have, again, the whole inch. We can break it down even further into sixteenths, and I'm showing you all of this because when you read a ruler, it's going to have all of these lines. For most of the lessons we have in art, we're going to just need to break it down to the nearest quarter inch. So if you haven't been able to read a ruler before, and uh, you're going to be able to read it to the nearest quarter inch, I'm going to be pretty satisfied for now, but you shouldn't be satisfied. You should want to be able to read a ruler all the way to the nearest sixteenth inch because there are many jobs out there that will require you to do so. If you become a carpenter or get into construction, that's a classic example, or sewing or uh, many other different uh, fields of work that you might get into when you get older. Okay, so let's go ahead now and uh, start testing you with some lines here and I'm just going to ask you can you tell me what measurement this line indicates and the correct answer would be one half of an inch how about this section right or this line right here that would be one quarter of an inch how about this section right here the correct answer would be three quarters of an inch. Okay, let's now take a look at a six inch ruler and see if you'll be able to tell me uh, the lengths of certain lines. Here we're just going to read to the nearest quarter of an inch. How about to this line right here? The correct answer would be two and one half inches. And how about to this line right here? The correct answer is three quarters of an inch. How about to right here? The correct answer is five whole inches and one quarter of an inch. How about right here? The correct answer is two and one half inches. How about right here? The correct answer 
is 5 and 3 quarter inches. And this line right here, the correct answer is 3 whole inches. You can get further practice with the ruler by going to the ruler game and you can find its link on the same page where you found the link to this video. You could also ask me to help you with some one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. I'd be more than happy to since learning to read a ruler is very, very important and you should be able to do this since you are in high school. Whatever it is that you are learning, never be satisfied until you feel that you are competent enough in it.